Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try that again. Good evening. All right. Welcome to the Kennedy Center's Millennium Stage, where every night of the year at 6 p.m. we present a free performance with the ongoing support of the Target Corporation. And when you're not able to be here with us in person, we invite you to join us online at kennedy-center.org. Tell me, how many of you here tonight are joining us from out of town? All right. We are thrilled to have you here. So as many of you know, we are in the midst of four incredible days of celebrating and re-examining the legacy of Marvin Gaye and his classic recording, What's Going On? All right. And now, tonight, we are thrilled to be showcasing young artists from across the country who are using their art to answer the question, what's going on now? Enjoy. tightened his hold on the Batangan Peninsula on South Vietnam's central coast. There's far too many of you dying. You know we've got to find a way to bring some loving here today. Yeah. Father, Father, we don't need to escalate. appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. What's going on? On our broadcast tonight, Hurricane Irene. Tonight, this monster storm is churning toward the eastern seaboard. Drink some understanding here today. Oh, oh, oh. Pick it black and pick it sound. Don't punish me with brutality. Come on, talk to me. You can't see. In County, several hundred faithful protesters continue to camp.
them get up and hold. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together, make some noise. Welcome to the Kennedy Center's Millennium Stage. I am your MC tonight. My name is Reggie Kibiko. I am a poet and educator. And I have a question for you. What's going on? That's what Marvin Gaye sang almost 40 years ago to the state right here at the Kennedy Center when he released the tracks from his pivotal album. Well, Kennedy Center's Arts Edge, a digital media project, started to do a media campaign, a media arts campaign, where they asked the youth what's going on now. If you are a youth, make some noise. <laughs> on the count of three, in one word, I want you to yell out what's going on now. I want you to answer that question in one word. What's going on? One, two, three. <laughs> exactly. That's how I feel, because I'm young at heart. Tonight, we have uh, youth uh, from all over the country who have answered that question in poetry, in performance, in storytelling, in all forms of media. Tonight, um, you will feel their passion and see what is going on. So I have a question for you. Are you ready for your first act? Yeah. All right. It gives me great pleasure to introduce from Washington, D.C., the Duke Ellington School of the Arts, very own Dean Regime. Mother, mother, there's too many of you crying. Oh, brother, brother, brother. There's far too many of you dying. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Father, Father, there's no need to escalate. Oh, cause war is not the answer. Love can conquer it. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Pick your line, sister. Pick your son, sister. Don't you punish me sister. with brutality, sister. Fish are 
out full of mercury. to write a first line. So while my youth is still an excuse, I will respond with, I don't know what's going on. This country is smoke and mirrors, a desert filled with skyscraper mirages. When I say big top, you say circus. Lady Liberty, who are you fooling? We all have insecurities. Chisel off your mask and breathe, see. And the third grade, I couldn't read fast like the other kids. And the fourth grade, my cousin was diagnosed with ADHD because he wasn't quiet like the other kids. How do you turn down someone's childhood? Better yet, mute it. I know boys with littler boys and girls with stretch marks to prove their womanhood in the eighth grade. My teacher told me, that even if I learn absolutely nothing at all, she'll still get paid. That wouldn't be the first, nor the last time I was to hear that in the ninth grade. I learned that in some cities, jails are built based off black boys' test scores from the third grade. Maybe that's why they're expected to bojangles their way back and the shackles massa. There must be no place like home. The homeless on my city streets have been occupying for centuries. With demands on their soul, they walk barefoot to keep their homes clean. Picket signs out front reading, love and permanent ink should never be denied. So how do you keep hate out? You live peacefully. They don't need insulated walls, so stop calling genius crazy, asking the 16-year-old girls trapped in their heads, where has the blue skies gone? Marvin, we haven't forgotten your lyric. The world has just forced us to hum, but a whisper, when done right, has the capacity to holler. I'm crazy about you Stay away too long And I can't do without you Every chance you get You seem to hurt me more and more But each hurt makes my love Stronger than before I know flowers grow from rain But how can love grow from pain? And it's a doggone shame my love for you makes all your lies seem true. But if the truth makes love last longer, why do lies make my love stronger? Stronger, stronger, stronger. Ain't that peculiar?
tears of joy. A child can cry so much until you do everything they say. But unlike a child, my tears don't help me to get my way. I know love can last through years, but how can love last through tears? Probably of um, being fascinated with like military history is probably um, one time I was at my grandmother's house and I was uh, watching a documentary on a famous general named Hannibal. When people talk about like war today and strategy of today, so to me it's a lot different because more strategy of today is just like patrolling and making sure this country is staying here and this country is not like overwhelming. Back then, when you went to war, you had actual like battles. Like you could say, okay, here's a battle, here's a battle, here's a battle. In terms of past wars, I would describe war today probably as just what a lot of people say unwinnable, and I agree with that kind of. Reenactments with my brother really does make me think about like wars today, wars yes, uh, in the past. Because you got to think, if I'm just doing this, I'm sleeping out in the cold and rain, sleeping under the stars, doing whatever, running in the field. Um, you got to imagine how much worse it is if you have like live guys trying to kill you, and you actually have you actually have like the worry when you go to sleep, it, like tonight my last night, and everything of that nature. All right, uh, that video was Soldiers by Jimmy Papik uh, from Venice Arts. Let's give a big warm round of applause for Venice Arts. We're in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Poetry Slam has revolutionized theater and literature. It is where a poet has three minutes to read his or her own poem before an audience and is scored. Tonight we have uh, two uh, poets going off of Marvin Gaye's theme of ecology and the environment. From Chicago Youth Media, U Media, we have Keisha Kush Thompson in the house. And from Youth Speaks San Francisco, we have Billy Butler. Performing first, uh, Ecology of Mercy, we have Keisha Kush Thompson. And performing Californian Summers, we have Billy Butler. Please, let's welcome these fabulous poets to the stage. Chief Seattle said, to teach your children what we have taught our children, that the earth is our mother. Whatever befalls the earth, befalls the sons of the earth. If men spit upon the ground, they spit upon themselves. Mother's son interdependence dates back prehistory. The real monsters had yet to evolve. The only Mother's Day I could remember is still pinned between the frame of her mirror. Long after the single tulip withered into the crease of construction paper, long after my hands outgrew their painted print, shed their blue, green, red skin, pigmented primary color skin, peeling layers of Elmer's glue. Long after her pride in me grew scarce on the refrigerator door, 
She still traces the landscape of my toddler palm for any presage of the transition from Legos to factories. What malice might have crawled into the creases while she wasn't looking? Whose mischievous son sat too long in my sandbox, taught me to be bad, taught me to build my ego concrete over her sandcastles? Boys will be boys. It's in our nature. And she thought nothing of the roughhousing foreclosing in me. She was too busy bandaging my kneecaps to know Notice the hurricanes forecasted in my my hands were dabbling in much more than oily paint bins. I was learning to position primary teeth over the hand that spoon-fed me breath. She bled broken levees into my first taste of misogyny, into fragile ceilings. Someone's mischievous sons must have sat too long in my sandbox, taught me to be bad, taught me to build my ego concrete over her greenery. I was a product of the environment, making a product of the environment. I built dams into her blood vessels and watched as the veins bulged in her neck. I know what makes mommy mad, uncapped my sippy cup and spilled oil into clean carpet, watched the fish's surface when I moved on to bigger puddles, bigger paint bins, me the colors of my brother's insides over the sidewalk and chalked their outlines into murals battered yellow brown black red skin couldn't have been any brothers of mine and mommy mommy got mad took belt to my body till it welted waterlogged blue and broke into blackened cough I never noticed the hurricanes forecasted in her hands tsunamis thrashing in her throat hell hath no fury this savage hell hath no mercy I watched the body surface in a puddle much bigger than mine this is worse than time out this is time run out mother son interdependence dates back prehistory the real monsters have evolved this is for Californian summers. For orange poppies that dot trails to trot up. For a setting letting you shed skins from any place you have been, and for letting you live anything you've thought up. Love letters float better on warm breezes. Caressed by verdant green leaves of trees to think I've been sleeping there for 18 years. And I still have boulders to turn over. I'm still slipping down sloping mountain shoulders and missing my home before I'm any older. This is for collecting blackberries bursting with technicolor clarity, for jagged mountaintops framed with silver clouds framed with an easel. And every once in a while, with eagles rising and flying towards summer on the horizon, this is for the places where I spent the better days of my childhood. I've seen redwood trees sway like wheat in the wind, wanted to follow creeks for weeks just to see where they begin, then hike back down just to start all over again. There have been days when I've only wanted to watch clouds change just as fast as my imagination could keep up, wanted to walk winding evening paths in secret, and with my friends tell my parents that the beach is where you could meet us, wanted to dive into bays, wash worries away, and dry in the rays of radiant expectations, to live in the sweet haze of summer days. I want summer love and summer fun and summer summer salting. I want to take hikes, ride bikes, and fly kites. I want to take pics, pick up sticks, and make up for every beautiful day I missed playing video games inside. I won't lie, but there were middle school days when I would rather explore the world of Warcraft than the world around us. So now that I appreciate the ecology, I feel I owe it an apology for Rivers that catch fire like lighter fluid, sometimes it feels like common sense is a language and only a few are fluent. I apologize for people who pollute ponds with poison, throw away natural beauties like a spoiled kid with new toys in, for all the people who see this happening and are afraid to use their voices. It's like what Marvin said, the animals and birds who live nearby are dying. So we can't just stand by idly, politely sublimate, and sit on our hands wondering why there are no birds flying near our kite strings. Because in 40 more years, it might seem frightening why we left the environment out to die without fighting. And I know that sometimes we're too lazy to take out the recycling. But damn it, that's where it starts. Environmentalism doesn't come in some flash of lightning. It comes from the heart. So when the fish are full of mercury, which is why Marvin said, mercy me, it doesn't seem so hard to pick up the plastic parts from the trash to the recycling. Our actions, no matter how small, have a larger impact. In fact, it shouldn't seem so abstract to care about places beyond where Amtrak can take you. 
You'd clean up an oil spill yourself if it was in the yard out back. And not every family needs four new Ford four-door explorers parked on the block. Let's not turn our national parks to national parking lots. Because the entire world is our wonderful, spherical, blue-green backyard miracle. And we should take care of it. Listen to your heart. It isn't that hard. Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for Keisha Kush Thompson and Billy Butler. And a big shout out, thank you, to You Media from Chicago and to Youth Speaks in the Bay Area. Our next performances include four fabulous MCs from Cleveland, Ohio, from the Progressive Arts Alliance. And they're in the house. Let's give them a big shout out out there. Progressive Arts Alliance. These uh, four talented MCs are performing an original piece called Think Cleveland, inspired by Marvin Gaye's track, Flying High. If you listen closely, you'll uh, hear the song and you'll feel the unity. Let's show your love for the Andre, Stefan, Easy, and Tyler. The Progressive Arts Alliance All-Stars are in the house! In a world completely polluted by chaos, from that is born strength and power and unity. But before that even happens, somebody has to say something. Somebody has to be let it heard. We need to say something. Matter of fact, I got to say something. Have you heard it? Word is the game changer. So I had to drop my two cents just to pick the change up. All we need is love. That's what my heart feeling. But poverty make the body numb. Hard feelings. Cause mom's struggling and kids hustling for rent. Then it all falls down. Mom falls out. It, it makes, makes no, no sense. sense. What's going on with me? Nah, man. What's going on with you? This is the Siamese twin combo. I want your, your point of view. Living with the facts of the few that, that I know. I start to wonder where the blue skies go How can I move forward in a cycle of fear? Sitting in the dark waiting for a light to appear Cause who cares? Who cares? Who cares about you, me, we, us, and to where? To where? Can we go while we still need what? Trust the people have leads in the wrong direction So I stopped following and started to question My destiny for me to speak freely and hold hands with the people that need me. Believe me, you don't need to linger in the pain. You can find a solution if you go, go against, against the grain. Just maintain control and you can really start something that can change the globe. I swear. Money is tighter than it's ever been. Ever been. The same now as it was then. Was then. Self-destruction is in our hands. In our hands. The worth of human life you understand. You understand. The more negativity we seek. We seek. The more negativity we speak. We speak. The reason that uh, we wrote this song is that uh, we're trying to figure out what's uh, going on. Let's what's go. Going. No time to fly high. No friends in the sky. All I see is drug dealers, drive-bys, and people getting high. Stevie wins the ripping in, in the, the sky. sky. All I see is white lies and pride. Officials exposed. Home just sold. Grandma's old. The story was told. Does anybody care and wonder what's fair? I sit up for change, but no one's there. There. Look into the sky, hoping God does hit To take away the pain, to take away the shame Cause I know my city is drenched in the rain We ran up to win, but we lost the race We lack the love, but embrace the hate We hate the word, but we love the taste We try to love, but rather debate We try to love, but rather debate Blow the horn like Coltrane and wake the world up But maybe pour some Folgers in the world's cup too much crying, too much dying, but not enough grinding, not for the shining things. A diamond rings on death is fly. The way they do my life, I'm, I'm wondering, wondering why. why. No reply given, the silence is cancer. A hundred and one questions, but only 99 answers. Money is tighter than it's ever been. Ever been. The same now as it was then. Was then. Self-destruction is in our hands. In our hands. The worst of human life, you understand. You understand. 
more negativity we speak, we see. The more negativity we speak, we speak. The reason that we wrote this song is that we're trying to figure out what's going, what's on. going on. What is going on? Do you have a clue? People being trapped inside of inner city blues. Where is the people living like there's no outside Side to the, the box. box? Under all the wrong influences, so tired, tired of the map. Yeah. I wanna know what's up, like, like Marvin. Marvin Trying to see what's really going on, like, like Marvin Often, people think the chances, chances are narrow We should all be flying high, but we like crabs in a barrel It's so tragic what happens, where is uh, the love and the passion? They sit and wait on the action, missing the shot like, like a, a bass Try not to live like the average, average. stop putting trash in the bag We trying to win just like magic, everything, everything changing like, like magic Yeah, yeah. how that sound, yeah, got a nice ring to it I, I got, got a dream, yeah, that Martin Luther King music and I think we can achieve it. Think way bigger than yourself. Think Cleveland. Kennedy Center, what's up? Cleveland all day. What's up? Well, we are the PAA All Stars from Progressive Arts, straight out of Cleveland, Ohio. I am Tyler yes, yes. Drummer, also known as Tyler Sky. What's going on, y'all? I'm Stephen Phillips. I also go by Kennedy Black. What's going on, DC? It's your boy Easy, aka uh, Easy. Easy. Yeah. I'm DeAndre, a.k.a. Prophet was good. Cleveland, Ohio all day. And if you want to find out more about us, go to paalive.org. Check, Check the, the shirt. shirt. Check, Check the, the shirt. shirt all Thank day. you. We're out. Kennedy Thank said you. we love y'all. Let's go. The PAA All-Stars, one more time. Cleveland, Ohio represents. And while we're at it, let's give a big warm round of applause for our DJ, DJ RBI of Words Beat City Live. Okay, so you've seen some spoken word and music and dance. Well, technology has changed the way that you could tell stories. And we're proud to present as part of our What's Going On Now media campaign, uh, two pieces uh, for you. One um, is called Once in a Lifetime by Chris Rojas of Venice Arts. And Chris is in the house, so let's give him a big warm round of applause. And the other piece is a radio story, but uh, it is going to be performed live for you by Ryan Lawless from Youth Media in Santa Fe. His piece is called Family. So without any further ado, let's check out this video once in a lifetime. Mi viaje comenzó en el desierto en una camioneta blanca. Mi familia y yo junto con otros nos subimos a la camioneta. Esta camioneta nos llevó al desierto donde empezaríamos a caminar. Una vez que estábamos en el desierto, empezamos a caminar. Esta caminata duró cuatro noches y tres días. La primera vez que vimos a la migra fue durante la primera noche. Yo pensé que estábamos jugando a las escondidillas porque todos se empezaron a esconder detrás de los arbustos. Pero al crecer, me di cuenta que este viaje no era un juego, sino que algo más serio. Yo pensé que íbamos a ir a un campamento, no que este viaje iba a cambiar mi vida para siempre. En el último día del camino por el desierto, nos paramos a descansar por cinco minutos. Cuando de repente se escuchó el sonido de un helicóptero circulando la área. Por suerte, estábamos descansando en un río seco junto a unos árboles grandes que nos ayudaron a escondernos. Aunque yo pensé que el helicóptero era asombroso porque nunca había visto uno de cerca, todos los demás tenían temor de ser encontrados y regresados a México. Cuando por fin terminamos de cruzar por el desierto, un carro nos estaba esperando para llevarnos a una casa a salvo. No había lugar en el carro para mí, entonces yo me iba a tener que ir en otro carro con el coyote. Mi mamá se negó porque ella quería que me fuera con ella y mis hermanos, porque así si algo pasaba, aunque sea estaríamos juntos. Entonces yo me fui en el mismo carro que mi familia, y al llegar a la casa a salvo, nos avisaron que el coyote había sido deportado a México, porque el vehículo donde él estaba viajando, la luz trasera estaba rota, entonces fue parado por la policía. Y cuando me acuerdo de este viaje, nunca se me van a olvidar las luces de la ciudad cuando primero empecé a caminar en el desierto. Las luces se miraban hermosas. También no se me va a olvidar cuando toqué la nieve por primera vez. Era una sensación inexplicable. 
y el helado que comí con sabor a arena. Después de haber pasado por la tormenta de arena, fue un sabor que no creo que voy a volver a probar en mi vida. Y al fin y al cabo, le agradezco a mi mami por todo lo que hizo por mí. Le agradezco por su esfuerzo porque estoy feliz donde estoy. Y me siento orgulloso de sus decisiones que ella ha hecho por mí. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> I was driving home. I was driving home one night after school. My emotions were running particularly high that day due to some family issues I was facing. I knew that going back home was probably not the best idea. As I tried to relax, I rolled down my window and flicked my radio box on. I'm a fan of the oldies, and when I hear some Motown, especially some Marvin Gaye, I feel sparked with hope, with hope. I wanted to do a tribute piece to Marvin Gaye on the 40th anniversary of the album, What's Going On? The issues he talked about then seem very similar to my own issues now, and I sometimes feel that nothing will change except for the way that I deal with them. Marvin Gaye once said that music is pure, simple teaching that can heal our soul forever. When I hear the song, What's Going On? I get started thinking about my own family and how they can relate to his lyrics. I'm not going to force any morals on anybody, but to think about how far a little love, peace, unity can go to make you a stronger person. My name is Ryan Lawless. I'm 23 years old. I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico with my mom and grandparents. My parents got divorced when I was four, so I've had family issues like everyone else growing up. Though me and my family argue about our different life choices, we still maintain living together. The choices my mom have made have not always benefited me, and she admits it too. Like the time she almost broke her nose because she was too drunk at home by herself. She knocked her nose on the edge of the kitchen tape of our kitchen table and passed out instantly from the impact. I was at my dad's for the weekend and got back on Sunday to find my grandma blaming me for the whole incident simply because I wasn't there. I was forced to clean up my mom's blood and I was forced to clean up my mom's blood from the carpet because she was too sore and hungover to clean it up herself. She cried all night and I fell asleep with the TV on. I didn't think I could ever forgive her, but the tables were turned once I got arrested. She had to come bail me out, and I got to see how much my choices affected my mom's life. Instead of trying to kill me, she just cried. I was shocked that my limbs were not ripped off of me, but rather showered with her love. My mom had always said that you could always hate the sin, but not the sinner. She had seen me falling into a hole and wanted me to get out of it as soon as possible. We talked for about an hour in front of the house, and she told me that I had to love myself and love my family even more. I told her that Dad even knew, and that he might have been the reason that I got caught. Tensions were high between me and my father, but my mom urged me to speak to my father. She said, Ryan, he's your only father, and you have to love him. I could feel the power of my mom's love, and I decided to use this power to go talk with my dad and try to make peace. My dad might look like a hero to some people for being the single dad who stuck around for his kid or the good dad who's always going to church, but he's often a hypocrite because he hates to admit when he's wrong. And my grandma from my mom's side doesn't like him simply because he didn't help me out in school enough. I love him nonetheless because he's the only dad I have. Me and my dad had been arguing, or 
My dad had been arguing with my stepsister for a long time. He would call her a Satanist for, not, for listening to God smack. They fought so much that I tried to skip out on visiting my dad for the weekends. Marvin Gaye was shot by his father due to the escalation of personal conflict. I don't think my dad would ever shoot me, but there was this one day that he surprised me with his anger. He struggled hard with me and with dealing with drugs, but I didn't mind because I knew he had been just as bad in his youth and experimented with drugs like so many other young people had. He caught me with weed on Father's Day and shouted about how I was ruining my life and made me feel even worse by telling me how I damaged his faith in his only son. The next morning, he left for work and I left to go back home with the understanding that my dad had disowned me. We didn't speak for months. Things only changed when my grandmother passed away. My dad is strict and gets angry easily, but, there's only, but there is an emotional side to him. I told him I, was trying to argue, I wasn't trying to argue anymore, and all I wanted to do was to go back to having a father that I loved. He felt the same and cried and said he wanted the same thing also. We made peace that day, and this taught me how love and peace go hand in hand. But it's very hard to keep these two powers bonded. The glue in which helps to keep these powers bonded came from my brother. We fight, we make up, but always remain brothers, the true symbol of unity. I technically have a half-brother, but I consider him to be my fool. We don't look alike and almost seem like polar opposites at some times. We simply are there for each other in times of need, and that's how we connect as brothers. I don't know why he helps me, but if I were to guess it, it would probably, probably be because he's just trying to look out after me. When I was 12 years old, I remember my parents fighting and my brother patting me on the back, telling me that everything was going to be all right. Marvin Gaye speaks about his own brother and how much he loves him. Me and my brother can accomplish anything we want to do, but if we don't have each other, then we don't have anybody. We understand that our family has issues, but we also know that we can work through them, work through with them with a little love, peace, and unity. <laughs> Quick, just giving them the truth so that you could be in tune with it. Move with the pace, we be looping the break. This how the movement is made, homie. You losing the trace now. Don't confuse it, the movement is useless. If we don't do this with the proper theme music, that's where the Marley part, student part, starving artist part of my heart. We'll start a garden, a harness the harvest, but they'll package it, label it cancerous. I'll take it back, I'll probably never have a chance with this. Trying to fare in the era of obsolescence. So, what happens? When the pharaoh makes a promise to the peasant Then remembers Profit is allotted to the top tier We probably been forgotten Ain't no green jobs here, nah We need change But change starts with you We gotta work on ourselves Even though I know it's hard to do If I could want time So a minute will reverse The fixed decisions and revisions With a minute to rehearse If I could find lines Just to spit them in a verse To fix the prisons and the schisms I'd be finished with my work If I could want time So a minute will reverse The fixed decisions and revisions With a minute to rehearse If I could find lines Just to spit them in a verse To fix the prisons and the schisms I'd be finished with my work A planetary emergency In which we are engulfed at the present moment Is we demanding That instead of just Complaining about these things Instead of just protesting about these things We begin to look for And hope for Another way of living this ain't a prophecy, 
You ain't got respond to me. What's purpose on us, sir? We just some products of economy. I got a problem with it. And you would probably witness cops. A lot of liquor. We got them lottery tickets. So who next in line? Cause homie, this is breakfast time. Fortified with minerals and vitamins and pesticides. Fuel for the revenue. This is what they said to do. But to think of what they fed to you instead of truth. Mom and pops is closed. Conform to the corporate office. Operation gentrified. I notice what that costs us. Condos pop up. Cops want to shoot us. A crook or someone in a suit. Tell me who do you trust? With what you take for granted, I don't really understand it. I practice balance on the planet's tilted axis. My brain is played, but I plan to withstand the damage. And the mind can master magic manifest more than fragments. Listen, if I could want time, so a minute will reverse the fixed decisions and revisions with a minute to rehearse. If I could find lines just to spit them in a verse to fix the prisons and the schisms, I'll be finished with my work. If I could want time, so a minute will reverse the fixed decisions and revisions with a minute to rehearse. If I could find lines just to spit them in a verse to fix the prisons and the schisms, I'll be finished with my work. I'll be finished with my work. I'll be finished with my work. The movement. I, I see a movement beginning to emerge because I see hope beginning to trump despair. <laughs> when I say poetry, you say rocks. Poetry! 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 We have two fabulous poets coming up for you. From U Media Chicago, we have Sam Carroll performing States and Rainbows. And from LA, representing Say Word and Brave New Voices, we have Trey Bain performing Skid Row Dreams. Let's give a very special What's Going On Now welcome for Sam Carroll and Trey Bain! Word. Um, you guys having a good time? Good time? Word. Got my paper with me just in case. <clears throat> Call me suspicious. Like shadow been syruped in my skin. Like my skin is a gang color. In some neighborhoods, I can't wear it the way I want to. Call me black. Not because of race, but because when our ancestors' blood dried, it all dried the same shade. Call me statistic. Product of public education and private development. Gentrification dividing classes like school bells. We are only left remainder, but the denominator is always harder to get rid of. This is an apology letter to George Zimmerman and the 34 witnesses that handed Troy Davis his fate. This is a eulogy for Rekia Boyd, a wake for Michael Limbard, a resume for the next martyr. So call me suspicious, like I carry night in my jeans pocket or a knife or a handgun. So call me black like strength, like weights lifted off shoulders. So call me statistic. Technicolor crisscrossed on my abdomen helps me stomach the bullseye. In 2012, Skid Row housed more than 4,000 people that you cement as their pillows in the heat from the crack of sunrise as their blankets all within a four block radius. For the past three years, I've walked these streets made out of jazz notes and sewer lines, cigarette buds and marijuana stems, fish markets and defecation, police and firemen, criminals and innocent civilians on one block. I've seen torn clothes worn on old battered women sitting up against brick walls like southern home porches, laughing, cracking jokes like syringe caps on the next block. I've seen grown men sizing one another up like drug scales under the shelter of a liquor store, split personalities on each corner. I know someone. 
by the name of Nancy. Eighth grade, beautiful like concrete roses, like white clouds after rainstorms, lives on Skid Row but still finds reasons to dream. Says in high school she wants to be an honor roll student that now she's too scared to tell her friends she is homeless but maybe then they'll be more accepting. How many times will they try to curb stomp their dreams into reality just to stay sane? I wonder what state of being they were in when reality hit. What pedestal they were on when the foundation of their legs broke like the fall of an empire. How many people did they leave behind? What compelled them to congregate to these blocks? Residency of hopeful spirits, broken dreams, demons play patty cake with their skull while God still tries to give them reasons to smile. People of Skid Row lining up along the LA riverbank look like crooked grins in 2006. Skid Row was renamed as Central City East to help aid the reinvention of its hard demeanor. Shortly afterwards, firemen from the local station petitioned to keep the name the same in fear of them losing their reputation as respected workers in a rough area. Since when has it been an official's purpose to keep a ghetto stagnant? When you walk through, you see a lot of childhoods that never blossom angels in their own right. Heroes, the way they walk through this gas chamber with only the shield of dirt laying on their skin, their tongues, play merry-go-round with their lips, looking for leftover pop rocks that may be stuck within their gums, these buildings. Hover over these adolescent spirits like parents. Scared of their broad stature, they always make sure to come home by sundown. Thank you. Scorpions, phony fake, fake, riding in a rover, got pulled over, that makes us fans on your clovers, bag it up, so back up to Dover, laugh at them cause you got caught with your toaster, jail time and ill time, shots to your behind, body full of sex hacks, it's D time, while I'm back home, long distance phone calls, do not receive nothing, cell phones cut off, uh, while these fame niggas doze off with a bass tube line of coke, now your nose off. These niggas got clothes, but they bras off. Even got their shoes off, cup is f***ed off. Mr. Murderers tolerating his murderers, murderers, murderers. They can't believe I murdered them. Every 
everything is not okay cause the government's telling lies we need a solution the streets is in confusion i feel like a slave no constitution i reach the conclusion nobody's gonna help all we have in this world is ourselves Black father the only thing that gets me pissed real fathers getting this trying to hold it home for the kids it's ridiculous getting out of hand and i wish i had a plan to turn us all around make a drown quicksand we all make mistakes best believe we all human but a lot of people looking at us laughing assuming i believe they can change if y'all got hearts cause we control ourselves from in the front rows of pox i'm tired of all the drama between fathers and baby mamas child support divas always looking for a dollar taking your kids to problem digging that's the way to solve them stress kills a lot on the spot i'm not involved in nope made the peace a lot of people being deceased and if you got the beef don't lose the condom in the sheets and if you got feet walk it off in the heat cause i ain't sweating it me and mine's got a heat uh, Right, that video makes me want to holla is by Art Lab and Latin American Youth Center. Let's give them a big warm round of applause. Are you all having a good time? All right, there's a little more. Let's give a big shout out to all of our fabulous performers and all of our fabulous media artists. I am Reggie Kabiko. This is part one of part two of our performance. Tomorrow, even more performances. Also, a shout out to DJ RBAI and the Words, Beats, and Life DJs Javier Garay, Virgil Smoot, and Isaiah May. Have a joyful night!